Chapter 4 of Dinosaurs Before Dark. Henry. Hmm. In the last chapter, we learned that Annie was going to say hello to the creature, the Pteranodon. I wonder if his name is Henry. Hmm. Are you thinking the same thing? Let's find out. Jack gasped <gasps> as Annie held out her hand. Oh, brother, she was always trying to make friends with animals. But this, this was going too far. Don't get that close to him, Annie, Jack said. But Annie touched the pteranodon's crest. She stroked his neck. She was talking to him. What in the world could she be talking to him about? Jack took a deep breath. <sighs> okay, he would go down too. It would be good to examine the creature, take some notes and observations like a scientist. Jack started down the rope ladder. When he got to the ground, Jack was only a few feet away from the creature. The creature stared at Jack. His eyes were bright and alert. He's really soft, Jack, said Annie. He feels like Henry. Jack snorted. Oh, he's not a dog, Annie. Oh, so who is Henry then? Maybe Henry is their dog. Feel him, Jack, said Annie. Jack didn't move. Just don't think, Jack, just do it. Jack stepped forward and put out his arm very cautiously. He brushed his fingers down the creature's neck. Interesting. There was a thin layer of fuzz covering the pteranodon skin. Soft, huh, said Annie. Jack reached into his backpack and pulled out a pencil and a notebook and he wrote some notes. Fuzzy skin. What are you doing, asked Annie. I'm taking notes, said Jack. We're probably the first people in the whole wide world to ever see a real live pteranodon. Jack looked at the pteranodon again. The creature had a bony crest at the top of his head. The crest was longer than Jack's arm. And there's a picture here. So here's the crest and here's Jack taking notes and there was that thin layer of fuzz on the pteranodon. Jack looked at the pteranodon, oh, um, I wonder how smart he is, Jack said. Very, very smart, said Annie. Mm, don't count on it, said Jack. His brain's probably no bigger than a bean. No, he's really, really smart. I can feel it, said Annie. I'm going to call him Henry. Jack wrote in his notebook, small brain, question mark? And I guess our prediction was half right. They ended up naming this pteranodon Henry, just like their dog. Jack looked at the creature again. Maybe he's a mutant, he said. The creature tilted his head. Annie laughed. He's no mutant, Jack. Well, what's he doing here then? Where is this place, said Jack. Annie leaned close to the pteranodon. Henry, Henry, do you know where we are? She asked softly. The creature fixed his eyes on Annie. His long jaws were opening and closing like a long pair of scissors. Are you trying to talk to me, Henry? asked Annie. Forget it, Annie, Jack wrote in his notebook. Oh, and then Jack wrote in his notebook, mouth like scissors. Did we come to a long time ago, Henry? Annie asked. Is this place where we are, is this a long time ago? She asked Henry. Suddenly, she gasped. <gasps> Jack! He looked up. Annie was pointing toward a hill. On top of the hill stood a huge dinosaur. End of this chapter. Come back for the next one.